This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press from Fort Hood reports an Army psychiatrist charged in the worst mass shooting on a U.S. military installation is returning to court this week for a pretrial hearing. A military judge might rule Wednesday. Major Nadal Hassan's defense team gets two experts that would require government funding. Last month, Hassan's attorney requested a jury consultant and another expert to analyze the extensive pretrial publicity after the November 2009 rampage on the Texas Army Post. Fort Hood officials say the judge Wednesday also will hear new defense motions about death penalty issues. Hassan faces death or life in prison if convicted of the shootings. His trial is set to begin in March, and he's charged with 13 counts of premeditated murder and 32 counts of attempted premeditated murder. From Austin and KVUE.com, state lawmakers are taking a closer look at Medicaid funding in Texas. Some of those dollars could be going away. The state legislature passed a new law over the summer that does away with the current procedures pharmacies follow to fill Medicaid and CHIP prescriptions. Monday morning at the state capitol, the House Human Services Committee opened a hearing into the matter. The committee is taking a testimony of the new Medicaid model. It did away with the state-run Medicaid prescription program and moved to a managed care program. Many say they can't survive with such deep cuts. According to pharmacy groups in Texas, there are 1,700 community pharmacies in the state. 1,300 of those pharmacies are at risk of closing down. A similar program recently went into effect in the state of Kentucky. Pharmacy groups say those businesses are already seeing job losses and economic distress. The new program doesn't go into effect in Texas until March 2012. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.